and as my balding continues, I'm going to slip into the 7 range, 7.2. It's going to start sliding down. Um, I could try hair plugs. I could try to stop it, reverse it, do something, but I don't know if I'm going to go that route. I mean, honestly, I'd like to just embrace balding to support other people who are balding, to give them hope, to say that balding is okay. Balding is part of aging, and let's embrace it. Let's not fight against it. To make a stand against balding fear. I think balding can be a fun part of aging. But my girlfriend is ruining that by saying she doesn't want to be dated dating a reef head. She said reef heads aren't hot and she doesn't want me to become a reef head. I found the word reef head to be a little bit ridiculous and a little bit immature but it kind of is an accurate description and I want it to be a reef head but she's not for it so I mean I want to respect her the last thing I want is her to cut her hair to punish me and she will I like girls with long hair long beautiful shiny hair down to your butt I, I think for a guy you could gain back a point by doing some kind of artificial hair if you're balding but uh my hair is not greasy look at that I am balding that's pretty thin right there there's not much hair to go around here that's not that's not a lot of hair this tuft in the front might hide a lot of what's going on, but that skin thin. That skin scary thin. It's just a matter of time before we're going to have a nice hole back here, and then this is going to connect to the hole, and then it's it's happening, man. There's there's time to prepare for it there's an adjustment period I'm visualizing it I'm, I'm trying to embrace it I'm trying to plan out how I'll feel about it I'm trying to select cartoon figures like Mr. Burns and different people that I've seen that have balding and use them as an inspiration to prepare myself for that look but it is um, quite a substantial thing in a life to go bald. It's going to take some real soul searching to try to come to grips with it and just like embrace it. Mr. Magoo, good example. Yeah, I guess part of me would like to reverse it part of me would but like the main driving factor behind me not wanting to go bald is my girlfriend doesn't like it she she just keeps saying over and over I don't want you to I don't want you to go bald if you go bald I want you to cut your hair really 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 short and it's like oh I don't feel like giving myself a super tight buzz cut on a daily basis. That's like maintaining the proper length facial hair. It's going to be a lot of work. You just shave your head every day? That's too much work. I only shave my facial hair once every two weeks. And the idea of having to then shave my head that frequently, it's traumatizing for me. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter 
how many women would like it. Actually, my girlfriend's dad is bald. So that's good, I guess. I have that going for me. But no, I have a fiancé, so I shouldn't be concerned with getting large numbers of women that find me attractive. If anything, it's important to me that I'm doing everything I can naturally to stay attractive, but if my body wants to <laughs> sabotage my attractiveness by literally going bald, which you can't help, naturally you can't help it, then that's my body's decision. I mean, I can work out, I can tan, I can do a lot to improve my looks. I can take care of my teeth, I can brush. I have... I have pretty good teeth. They're pretty white. They look nice and everything. But, um... As far as balding goes, unless if I'm gonna... Like, you know it would be fun? You know, I would be willing to look into hair plugs if I could do it myself. Can you imagine me streaming that? That'd be pretty fun. How does that work? Let's let's look at that since we're on this topic. Maybe I, Maybe I will... Like, just the cool factor of doing your own hair implants would to me justify if I do go that route I would never pay for that but if I did it live on stream if I did hair implants that would be like really cool so let's see let's see how it's done I'm not saying I'm gonna do it but I've always wanted to do surgery on myself. Wow, look at that. Now the trick to getting the best result is to let your body heal. The easier you take it, the quicker you're gonna heal, the better results are gonna be. I can't stress to you enough the importance of taking it easy. No one in the gym, no heavy lifting, don't do anything to jeopardize what we did here today. Well, definitely. The easier you take it, the quicker you heal, the better the results. And I can't stress to you enough the importance of that.